A Lifetime of Change Some people grow up in a town and spend their whole life in that same place. I know many people who have lived like this, including my cousins and some of my old friends. Personally, I couldn't live this way. I'm the sort of person who likes change. I like to experience some variety in my life. Let me tell you about some of the places where I've lived. I was born in a small village in England called Shelford. This was a place with only a few hundred people and I lived there with my family until I was about five years old. I was the oldest child in my family. I have two younger brothers, so when it was time for me to go to school, my parents decided we all had to move because Shelford was too small. So we moved to a town called Hampton, and that's where I started primary school. Hampton was a town with a population of about 20,000 people, so it seemed enormous compared to where we had come from. My father did quite well in Hampton. He started his own business, selling furniture that he made himself. And I remember this being a very happy time. I made close friends in Hampton, as did my two brothers, and it wasn't long before we were part of the community. Then one day, my father was offered an opportunity for his business in Spain. We had never been to Spain before, so it was a good chance to travel and see some of the world. So off we went as a family. We lived in Barcelona, a beautiful Spanish city, for about four years. Barcelona is known for its nice beaches and unique architecture. This was when I was aged from 10 to 14. Of course, I had to learn Spanish very quickly because I went to a local school. This was certainly a challenge. I thought after this, our family would move back to Hampton in England. But no, I was wrong. My father had another surprise. His furniture business was going so well, he said we should visit America. Let's just try it, he said. By now my mother, my brothers and I had the feeling we had heard that before. So we moved to America. We took a ship across the Atlantic Ocean and we arrived in New York Harbor just a few days before my 15th birthday. I'll never forget seeing the Statue of Liberty in the incredible skyscrapers of New York City. And I remember feeling the fast-paced energy of the city. It just felt so amazing to be there, like we were in the capital of the world. However, my father wasn't so happy with New York. He said he loved the sights, but he hated the prices. It was just so expensive. So we moved again. This time we took a train to the west, all the way across the country, and ended up at a place called Santa Clara, just outside San Francisco. Of all the places I lived, I think Santa Clara is my favourite. The whole place was populated by the Spanish over 200 years ago, and so there was a nice connection between Santa Clara and my time in Spain. When I got married, I decided to live in San Francisco. I'm happy here now, living with my own family. The city has everything I need with great education, healthcare, and plenty of things to do on the weekend. And now that I'm here, I don't plan to move again, although you never really know what the future might hold.